In the past, we've covered the meta wish list made by Mr. Bearcat. This covered a lot of updates to the base game of Planet Zoo that many people have deemed necessary, welcome, or even just a small quality of life change. A lot of these really focused around the idea of adding more flexi color channels to items or adding new items in general. But today, we're going to tackle something a little bit more different, something that adds rather than changes. Planet Zoo player Random Go, hell of a name by the way, has been the caretaker of the 20 new essential habitat animals meta wishlist for quite some months now, going back through three DLCs in the past, and being the manager of the plethora of wishlists that gets tossed their way. The new 20 essential habitat animals meta wishlist, actually let's just call it the animal meta wishlist at this point, has well around 400 species on the total wishlist, but some of the top runners are actually very familiar faces that some of you may already know. I mean, on the top of the list reigns the capybara, and it's really no surprise to see how this rodent made its way to the top of the list. And I for one really do hope Frontier is able to capture the magic of this silly little creature. In fact, around 70% of all participants who have made their own wishlist have voted for the capybara. Next on the list is a leopard, and this is where it actually gets kind of interesting. Mr. Random Goat was able to split up the different species of leopard that people voted for, with Amor leopards being the species most common in zoos, taking first, meanwhile followed by African, Persian, and Indian, and then Sri Lankan respectively. Either way, either species that we get, I'd just be happy to get a leopard at that rate as getting one would really fill out a niche for, you know, the last big cat that we really require. Followed by the leopard is actually a very interesting one, the Tasmanian Devil. Now, I personally didn't expect this one to reign so high on the list, but I don't really blame it. So these guys are really cool. As you guys probably know, I do have a Tasmanian Devil mod out, but that's just because I love these guys too damn much, you know? So it is pretty popular amongst the community, reigning number three on the list. And for such an obscure animal, it makes me really happy to see a lot of the community running together to get an oceanic representation of this little guy. Now, I was actually shocked to see the Przewalski's horse so high on the list, but, you know, it kind of makes sense. We're really lacking an equid species in the game, with the only other one being the plain zebra, so having another one is something I don't really consider all that much, but seeing as the community has really banded together to ask for one of these, I guess it just makes sense. And last but not least is one of my personal favorites, the maned wolf. I mean, you really gotta love these guys. Their coloration is just so beautiful, and you really can't appreciate these guys as much as you can in real life. They're beautiful when you actually see them. I think they're actually a very keystone species for any South American section, and I would definitely love to see Planet Zoo incorporate these guys in some way or shape or another later down the line. But why am I talking about all these? What's the point? Well, adding to this wish list isn't like throwing a coin down a well and hoping your wish comes true. We've made significant changes to the roster of Planet Zoo with this initiative alone. For example, on my wish list, I put both the moose and California sea lion, both of which came true. The moose got at least 80 votes on separate wish lists, and the California sea lion received 80 as well. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. This stuff has been going on forever, and it's very apparent that Planet Zoo and Frontier very much take this list into consideration at one form or another. With the Africa DLC, we were so lucky to have the Fennec Fox, and I did not expect them to make a creature so small, but after receiving 89 votes, they were added. I was actually very happy to see that Planet Zoo, as well as the community managers, were able to take this list directly to the developers. As well as the White Rhino, the Southern White Rhino received 111 votes, the most out of any other animal ever put in the wishlist before. And of course, it made it into this game. Participating in these little community events and moments is just something that we don't really take advantage of all too often in our little frontier community, but I just want to stress how lucky we are to have community managers that will actually lend us their ears and listen to what we have to say. And that's something I hope all of you do soon. I've linked the posts of the meta wish list down below, and I really do ask you all to participate. It's a very incredible project, and just like the last meta wish list, 
you have the power to bring your own serious changes to the Planet Zoo roster. I apologize for the quick little video today, but I really do hope you guys take part in this. It was just something that I felt like I really wanted to report on, and I hope you guys do take advantage of it. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys on the forums. Take care, and have a great, great day. Bye-bye now.